Hey guys and welcome back to my world. Today I'm going to be looking uh, at how to actually spawn these custom structures using command blocks and how it actually I did the spawning of the Towers of Midnight. Well, not really the Towers, but uh, what I have added to the Towers of Midnight. So if you've watched my last video, I've added quite a few features. One of them is this actual protection area, which allows you to protect your buildings in a 50 block radius. Now, if you actually go to the uh, main tower, so if you get to the top of the tower, you will find uh, in a chest, one of these uh, set, set protected area armor stands. Now, when you actually install it as well, if you do a new install, you will find receive 10 of these as well, which will allow you to actually uh, you know, protect 10 areas of them. Um, okay, so first of all, let us build the structure. So as you can see, I've got a structure built over here. I'm using corner blocks, okay, to just specify the area that I wanna save. Okay, I'm then going to go into my structure block, into the save mode and just save that. Okay, I am going to actually uh, grab that command block and place it somewhere else. So let's just place it over here. Okay, uh, as you can see, the protected area immediately is placed over there, which is not or the which is not what we want. So we're going to go load. So we're going to go minus one, minus one, minus one. Okay, and we're going to go done. Now you'll see we've got the block absolutely um, dead right. Now it's very very important. You'll see that we're actually putting the structure. Uh, in the same spot as the block so that when the structure load it will automatically delete this block over here okay so that's the first part that we have now done now the next thing we want to do we want to place a, a command block right on top of it like so we're going to go oh it's already in there block data um, squiggly line squiggly line minus one squiggly line and then open and close uh, curly brackets okay uh, and then we want to actually activate it. Now you'll see what we're basically doing is we are, are we are uh, telling this command block to change the data of the block directly underneath it to nothing. So it'll actually in the output it'll give us a long line of code which we are then going to actually copy. So that's the second we're going to do. We're going to copy that code. Right next now open up whatever favorite uh, text editor you have I'm just using pastebin and you paste it in there and now we've got all of our data now what I'm going to do is you'll see this over here the data tag did not change I'm just going to delete that now that is actually the data that you can actually now use as a set block so we're just going to make sure that we've got everything uh, correct so metadata protected that's fine ignore entities 1b fine powered 0b this is very important your powered needs to be 0b Okay, otherwise this will not work. Okay, make sure that's that. Uh, seed, okay, author, rotation, uh, pause, that's the pause X, very important. Uh, load, the mode load, very important. Pause X, important. Size, very important. Um, pause Z, important. Okay, all of this is important. What you don't really need is uh, the X, um, and you don't need the Y and Z. I mean, you don't need that. Um, uh, yeah, that's it. So we're gonna now, now that we've got that, we can actually copy that. Okay, very important. We can actually copy that, and we're gonna go back into Minecraft. All right now, what we're after is the actual code for the set block. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go set block, set block, and we're gonna go uh, yeah, just 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 over there. Just do that, uh, and we are going to go. Uh, this is a structure structure block. All right, and then we're gonna go zero zero all right so we now have the structure block set there so uh, we're going to place down a command block paste in what we have co copied from our text editor we're going to go done i'm going to copy what i just did over here with the set block okay but what i'm going to actually oh, what i'm actually going to do is i am going to just change these coordinates to be uh, that exact block so I'm going to change it to that All right so we now going to be placing a set block right where we are uh, and the metadata is going to be whatever that is okay and I'm just going to take this always active off like so uh, and then I'm just going to make another copy of it place it down there activate it okay and there is our structure block now what we're going to do is as well as we're going to quickly grab a redstone redstone block and we are gonna place it down on top of it. Okay, let's do it. And there we go. Okay, now you'll see, remember when I said the load needs to be zero, it's so that we can actually do this. So we now have the code we need 
uh, to actually set the block for that. Okay, so now we need uh, something that we can actually act off. Now I acted off this uh, this these armor stands, but let's say we can now actually act off this pig. Okay, so is there any pigs around? Okay, so first off, we are going to put that all in the command block again. We're going to run and execute. We're going to go execute uh, cute at e type equals pig. Okay, and let's just go uh, c equals one r equals just make it 50. Okay, so right. So if I now activate this, that pig will have a block set, let me just kill it, will set the block right inside itself. So as you saw, okay, so that is absolutely cool. So let me just quickly change the direction of this. So it's pointing in this direction. I'm going to add another block. Okay, like so, I'm just going to change this into a chain. And I'm going to go exactly the same again. Okay, um, I'm going to go uh, execute at E type equals pig, uh, C equals one, R equals 50. Okay, and we're going to go set block. Now this time, because we set the block exactly where the pig is, we're going to set the block one higher. So one, and then we're going to go redstone underscore block. Oops, underscore block. Okay, and this is a chain and always active. Okay, so if we just get the pig actually to run away, right? If I now set this, go away, don't go away. There we go. Right. So if I now activate that, there we go. So every time I activate this, we will now have a tower spawning. Okay, so it's really just these two commands and how we actually did it. And that is exactly how that works. I've got an armor stand that sets the block, the first block to be the uh, to be the structure block and then just activates it by doing the redstone block. Okay, that's it. It's as simple as that. Cool, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, I will check you all later.